Kiana. Welcome everyone to another episode of Iron Rounds. Now, I used to add this to the beatdown as a special edition, but I figured it should be its own thing considering the fact that it's not exactly like the beatdown. It doesn't do pre-forgings, it doesn't have powers abilities, and it doesn't have endgame. It's just, this one's different. Iron Rounds is simply this. We put two characters against each other, and they go against each other in three different rounds. And last time was Superman vs. Colossus, and three alternate versions of Colossus. And this time I decided to make this a little interesting as well. This time I'll put Iron Man's armor suits against Batman's armor suits in the Iron Rounds. Alright, so let's do this. Round 1. First round goes Hulkbuster, Hulkbuster vs. the Justice Buster. Alright, so here we go. Let's start off with the Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster is an incredible armor. I mean, it's able to lift 123 tons. It's able to hold its own against the Incredible Hulk. That is really impressive in itself. And it was able to hold against its own against other powerful beings. So make no mistake about it, the Hulkbuster is impressive. That being said, don't forget, uh, Planet Hulk, I believe, was able to destroy or defeat the Hulkbuster by throwing a building down on it. So there is a way to defeat the Hulkbuster. Now let's get into the Justice Buster. The Justice Buster, now these both have been talked about online, just to keep in mind. The Justice Buster, what it call is impressive in itself because it does have a little extra feats. It does have contingency plans against the JL members, which means it had a plan against Wonder Woman using a special type of rope, Flash by calculating his speed and using some kind of um, um, a coating, I forgot what it was called exactly, and then Aquaman and used some kind of special plasm that absorbs his... Um, his water or moisturizer and his moist in his body or in his air in the air so you got to keep that in mind so the Hulk Buster sorry the Justice Buster has much more contingency plans and even though Superman did destroy it at the end you have to keep in mind that the Justice Buster was able to hold its own against Superman for a while and it was using and Superman was using several different types of powers so if it was able to hold its own against the J, uh, the JL plus Superman I do believe that because the Hulk Buster doesn't have a lot going on when it comes to that many impressive feats, I will say that the Justin Buster wins the first round. All right, round two. So this one's a mouthful, so I'm gonna try to say the final, sorry, the final bad suit versus Model 61 God Killer Armor Mark II. Okay, so. Let's start with the final bat suit. The final bat suit is capable of altering DNAs and it was able to do one uh, of the future JL and change their minds of when they thought it was a bad idea. He was able to change their perspective by altering their DNA in that way. So that is an impressive feat in itself. It's the ultimate bat suit he's ever created. It's from like a futuristic timeline. Plus uh, I believe it's one of the anti-monitors or the other one were able to help him create it or give him the ability to do it and he used a, like a massive supercomputer but anyways besides the point it was able to go against several of the JL members take a lot of them down but here's the sad part the sad part is that we never got to see Superman throw down with the final bad suit so we'll never really know for sure if the bad suit the final bad suit would be able to hold its own against that current Superman now with the God Killer different story the god killer model model 61 god killer mark ii is impressive because it it shows strength and speed for example for the speed department it was able to travel in the cosmos at a fast destination from one place to another faster than anything that's ever been created by by men until that particular point i guess and then on top of you want to talk about strength it was able to hold its own against celestials if you're not familiar with what celestials are celestials are the creators of the marvel universe itself so if it was able to hold its own against celestials and that ultimate omnipotent kind of level of cosmo or godly powers i do believe that the god killer Model 61 God Killer does have the final bad suits number on this one, so I have to give it to Model 61 God Killer Mark II for this round. All right, now round three. All right, round three goes to Armor Mark II. I believe I'm saying that right. 
and let's just call it the Superman Buster because I really don't know the exact name for it. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why am I using the Mark II instead of the Mark I? Well, let's be fair. Superman's, Batman's Superman Buster is kind of more prepped. And the first Iron Man suit ever created was made in a cave, so it was very limited by its capabilities. So I don't want to be unfair when it comes to this, and I believe the Mark II is kind of leveled with the Batman or the Superman Buster. So I just wanted to be on even grounds in this way. So let's start off with the Superman Buster. Okay, it was designed by Frank Miller in the Dark Knight Returns comics and I believe it was in the 1980s, it was 1986 if I'm not mistaken. It was the first bat armor suit that I'm aware of that I looked up. I don't know if it's for a fact, but the, what I'm aware of, it's the first armor suit, robotic armor suit he's ever created in the comics or ever been created in decent comics for Batman. So he used it to fight against Superman, so he evened his odds against him. Now, of course, the suit wasn't designed with a lot of like really special gadgets for sure. It was designed with, of course, some ability to use some kind of kryptonite to lower, uh, to even the odds. It also had enhanced strength and speed so it can actually bounce out um, Batman's, comp it complements Batman's skills because Batman obviously is a well-skilled fighter. So put that and Superman's power level against Superman and Batman's gonna fight him one-on-one -on -one, hand to hand and beat him hands down no problem and he did he did beat Superman with that suit so keep that in mind the strength and the speed of that suit is is pretty much impressive in itself but the mark II just has a lot more going for him I'm sorry to say it let me let me just tell you a few of the things it has in its equipment okay it has a sledgehammer hacksaws extending from the fingertips hand drill electro magnet magnets that allow him to push people away or bring people closer so if he wants to bring batman's suit closer he might be able to do that okay so we have to keep that in mind uh using some electrical field generator the last two things that give the mark II that extra push to beat the superman buster is the fact that it has a ability of cap flying capabilities and it has something called a mono beam and a mono beam is capable of shooting some kind of uh, you know power to shoot to its opponents so if he got that mono beam close enough to batman while he's wearing the superman buster it, he could put him out in that way or even the flight capability could literally put batman's suit at a disadvantage so i will have to say sadly that the uh, for me at least that the Mark II wins this round against the Superman Buster. All right, so the ultimate winner in this is Iron Man's armor suits. I guess it's pretty obvious to some of you guys, but to some of you guys probably were disappointed. Let me know how you guys feel down in the comment section below. As always, no press fan, we really appreciate you guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.